Hello there. So far, the weather story this week has been dominated by a lot of low grey cloud for many. Yes, at times it's felt warm, but just take a look at Suffolk yesterday. It was a fairly typical story right across the country. The cloud was widespread. This was the satellite picture from Wednesday. In fact, there was some early morning rain in Scotland. That cleared away and a brisk northwesterly wind dominated here. Some brightness further south, some warmth. But over the next few days, it looks likely that we are going to see more sunshine and more more heat developing perhaps into next week. It's going to get a bit too hot for some of you. The jet stream is to the north of the UK at the moment. Once we're on the southern flank of the jet, we're in the warmer air source and this area of high pressure, well, that is keeping things quieter and allowing for more sunshine to come through. So we will start the day on Thursday for many on another cloudy grey note. Early morning sunshine in eastern Scotland and then eventually the cloud will tend to melt away and the sunshine really starts to build. The only exception is a little more cloud just running in off the northwest of Scotland, perhaps here temperatures only mid to but highest temperatures through Thursday afternoon of 25 degrees, 77 Fahrenheit. That cloud into the far north, thick enough for a spot or two of light drizzly rain into the northern and western Isles. But elsewhere, we keep some clearer skies. It will be a relatively mild start to Friday morning. Temperatures widely into the mid-teens once again. So on Friday, another dry, settled, sunny day in prospect. Again, just the far north and west may well just keep a little more cloud just being pushed in by this westerly wind. But with more sunshine coming through, temperatures are going to start to respond into the high 20s, not out of the question, by Friday afternoon. And that's 82 in terms of Fahrenheit. As we move into Saturday, the high pressure is still with us. We still got, however, the wind direction swinging around that high pressure, driving in more cloud and some showery outbreaks of rain, just clipping the northern and western Isles. But again, those temperatures for England and Wales, where we see the highest values into 27, 28 degrees. And that trend continues through the weekend and into next week. In fact, the heat wave could be here to stay with temperatures widely into the low 30s for many. It could be too hot for some.